I'm just gonna move my camera so you can see what I have here. I saw some people moving their bodies and taking breaths. Okay, oops. So right here I have a whiteboard and I've got some dry erase markers. You could do this with a paper and a pencil or a marker or whatever. I'm just gonna use a whiteboard so it'll be easy so I can erase it and show you. So I'm gonna show you what things you could make with using your hands, just your hand, or you could use both. But some art things that you could do with your hand. So I need the black one. Okay, so this first one, it needs to be upside down, so I'm just gonna do it normal towards the bottom, and then I'll flip it, okay? So I put my hand down, and I'm gonna start almost at my wrist, below my thumb, and I'm gonna go up, all the way around. It's a little tricky, because you have to keep your hand still, and then your other hand has to go around your fingers nicely. If you mess up, that's okay, you could try again or you could just move it around a bit. Okay, so now I'm gonna connect them. So that's my handprint, yes? Okay, so now I'm gonna flip it over. Okay, and right here, I'm gonna make a little eye and, oops. Like I said, if you mess up, you can do it again. So you want to make a little eye, and then mouth, something like that, yeah. Okay, now I'm going to add, maybe you could guess what this is. I think I might have to go back and fix the mouth. But I'm going to take the top. And I'm going to add these ridges, and then it's supposed to look like a dinosaur, but if it looks a little bit different, then that's okay. But do you see how I added these stuff, these little spikes on the top? So if you wanted to, I have a green one right here. I just used the black one so you could see, but you could do this with a green, or you could make an orange dinosaur, or a purple one, or a pink one. So after you trace it, you could go back and you could color it, or if you wanted to get messy, you could, you have to ask your mom or dad first, but you could paint your hand, and you could make your, your handprint, and then you could come back when it dries and you could add to it. But that's kind of messy. So right now I'm showing you how to draw it. So there's your first one. So I have a dinosaur, okay. I'm gonna erase it and I'm gonna go to the next one. This one's gonna be, I need my directions. This one's gonna be the same where I'm gonna do it um, upside down again, but this one I wanted to keep my fingers together. I'm not gonna trace all the way my fingers like I did the last one. So I'm gonna kind of hold them together and I'm gonna keep, yeah, kind of keep them together. And I'm gonna start here at the bottom again where my wrist is and I'm gonna go around. But look, I'm just gonna do the top. Boop, and I'm gonna go around. I'm just going to the tip of my finger. I'm not going all the way in like I did my other one. So if you see, it looks a little bit different because I just did the tips of my finger. And then I'm gonna connect it. This one I really need my directions for. Okay, so now I'm gonna flip it over like I did the other one. So that now I'm gonna draw on the top. So I'm gonna add just a little line like that. And I'm gonna add little antennas. You see? And I'm gonna add two little eyes. And I'm gonna start at the top and I'm gonna make a line all the way through. And I'm gonna draw black eyes. Maybe you know what it is. Maybe you don't. Okay, I'm gonna take this red one. And I'm gonna color all the way through. I'm not gonna do it so perfect because I don't wanna take so long, but I'm gonna kinda show you. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Do you know what it is? Oops. So if you were painting, 
how would you do this? Because I have these black circles and then I also have red all around it. Do you know how you would do it? Does that look like a ladybug to you? <laughs> so you could paint your hand red and then you could do your handprint and then when it dries, you could do the black circles. So that's if you want to do it messy, okay? So there's the ladybug one. I have this next one, so I'm gonna erase this. Oh, it looks so nice. Okay, this one, I'm gonna make more than one handprint. Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna do it down like this. It's kind of easier to start like this and then flip it around. So I'm gonna do my handprint. This one, I'm gonna go all the way through like the very first one. Doot. All the way through. I might not be able to do so many because my hand is big, but you would probably be able to do more than a, more than a few. So I'm gonna do my handprint right next to it. So right next to it. Yeah, I think I can only get two. Really, you could be able to do three or four. Okay, I'm gonna connect them here. I'm gonna flip them over. And over here. Ooh. I'm gonna make a face. Could have made the head a lot bigger. <laughs> this could be anything, but it's supposed to be a caterpillar. <laughs> so you could use four handprints, and it would probably look more like a caterpillar. And then you could <laughs> you could draw more. Um, and you could also choose your color. So you could do you could do half of your hand one color and then you could make a different color for your fingers because that would be the legs so then you could do your fingers one color and then you could do this part on your hand a different color that's if you do it messy okay i have one more so you could do it there's so many things that you could make with your handprints so it might turn out to look like something else and then it's like oh wow you just made something new okay so this one, first I'm gonna start with drawing a circle. Um, oh no, my hand's gonna be too big for this one. Okay, so I'm gonna draw a smaller hand, but you would trace your hand, and then I'm gonna turn it around, I'm gonna do it this way. Two, three, four, five. You see how I'm making handprints all around the circle? It, mine doesn't look so good because I'm trying really hard to make it look really smaller so I can fit more. I'm gonna do one more. One, two, three, four, five fingers. Ugh. I'll just add an extra one to make it look pretty. So it could be a flower. You could make a flower with your handprint. So make a circle in the middle and then draw your hand all the way around it. Or if you get messy, you could paint your hand. If you did this, you could do one handprint, you can make a pattern, you could do like one color, and then another color, and then another color, and then you would have different ones. Oh, okay my friends. I'm excited to see what handprint art you make. <laughs>